And you, <laughs> you referred to it as the the master clock. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm just sort of thinking from from an evolutionary perspective, and and you you write from a comparative physiology perspective. Yeah. Um, how basal is that? Do we see that in other animals? Yes. Uh, the non-mammalian vertebrates are really weird, though. Uh, they have. So, if we think about birds, they will have. Uh, th their master clock can be l like in the suprachiasmatic nuclei. It can be the eye. There are some birds where the master clock is in the eye. Uh, other birds where the master clock is in the in the pineal gland. So it depends. And and in fact, they have multiple master clocks, as it were. And so they will all interact. And we don't know why. Um, one of my great mentors, Mike Menneke, was always fascinated with why do some birds do it some ways and some do it another way? And in fact, why is there this diversity in circadian structures in the non-mammalian vertebrates? It's the same with photoreceptors. You know, we have our, our weird photoreceptor in the eye, but a bird can have a light-sensitive pineal. My PhD work was actually studying light sensors within the brain of birds, in the hypothalamus. Lots of light. I mean, people think, oh, don't be daft. You know, how can light get, get in through the brain? Well, huge amounts of light gets, gets through the brain and is stimulating the cells directly involved in, in fact, reproductive processes. So, so with the increasing day lengths of spring, this is detected by a photoreceptor, measured by a clock, and then triggers a whole reproductive response in, in those birds. Uh, they, uh, and, and, and reptiles, again, ha and amphibians, have lots of different sorts of photoreceptors. And the question that I think is so fascinating, it's something that Mike Menneke was also, we'd, we'd spend lovely evenings discussing this sort of thing, is why are the mammals so different? And I think the consensus is that our evolutionary history is very distinctive. When the archosaurs, the great ruling reptiles, the dinosaurs, you know, dominated the earth, our ancestors were scurrying out of burrows at twilight. Right. And there probably wouldn't have been enough light for long enough to be detected by a brain photoreceptor or a photoreceptor buried um, beneath the skull. So we lost our extra retinal photoreceptors, but retained our weird photoreceptors within the eye. And um, I think that's that's a really fascinating thing about mammals. We are rather different from the from the other vertebrates. Another example, I mean, our color vision is really quite primitive compared to the reptiles or the birds. We've actually had to re-evolve color vision, uh, whereas a parrot will have exquisite sensitivity, for example, in the red. We just see it as red, and they right. will see it as infinite hues of, of, of red. It's it's really, yeah, we're, 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 we're very weird in lots of ways as mammals. <laughs> 